Hi everyone. So now I'm going to show you how to analyze a flow cytometer data. So basically, after you have run your sample, you'll be able to save um, a flow cytometer data file, which usually with an extension of .fcs, .fcs file. So here, uh, I hope you have downloaded the software. It's called Flowing Software 2.5.1. Uh, it's developed by a university in Finland. So basically, first thing first, you click create and then press visualization tools and then you can either use dot plot, density plot or intensity plot. But for the purpose of this um, video, we're going to try to do just three plots, uh, probably two, probably two plots, uh, which is the most commonly used to analyze the flow data, which is uh, dot plot and density plot. So after you have created the template, now you open your file. So you click the dot plot, for example, and then you open the FCS file. So in this case, uh, I'm going to use 23409.fcs file. Uh, so open this uh, for both. So you can also open a file by clicking Ctrl and press the dot plot, the, the template box. So now you can see, so the top one is the dot plot and the bottom one is the density plot. So up to your preference, so some uh, like to use density plot because it looks neat uh, compared to the dot plot which is looks a bit messy. So but when, when you zoom it in, you can see the resolution is getting better. So basically you can see the three main population here. Um, the top one, the middle one, and the, the bottom one. Uh, the, the, we, we're going to uh, select this region. You choose a new region, and then you can uh, click, click, and click, and click to, to make a region of interest. So now your R1, you can rename this um, by uh, clicking in the population box at the right side. So you can rename it, for example here, I rename it lymphocyte underscore Shafiq. So you can further get another region. So you can create new region. And then you can start to get a second population of interest. Uh, and this is, as you know, a, a monocyte population. So you can rename this as well. Now you can see that the color is not so good, so you may change it uh, by changing the, uh, by changing it here. So let's say we pick this color; it looks better compared to yellow. Okay, now we're gonna get the granulocyte population. You can change the color again if you want to. We're gonna rename it first. So we're gonna write granulocyte. You can still change the color. So actually the most bottom left populations they are, they are actually not not cells. I mean probably they used to be cells, but we call it a debris. So these are usually uh some entities that is too small to be a cell so usually denote them as debris so we won't analyze those uh, yeah so if you look at the density plot it's basically the same but it's a bit streamlined i would say so you can see all three population the same up to you up to your preference you can use both but for this case i'm going to delete this density plot and we're going to focus on dot plot Okay, now we can create a new uh, dot plot. So basically here, uh, we want to further analyze the region that we have identified. So in this case, we're going to focus on lymphocyte population. So here, we're going to select uh, the axis by clicking the axis. So here, I haven't label the axis 
to denote which antibody but here is the the, the legend let's say so cd3 has been conjugated with uh, PCP Psi 5.5 so this is the fluorochrome use CD4, PE Psi 7 and CD8 uh, the fluorochrome use to conjugate with the antibody is APC H7 so you're going to ignore the rest first uh, you just focus on CD3, CD4 and CD8 so we're going to choose CD3 which we click here uh, the x-axis as per CP Psi 5.5 So we're going to change the population that we're going to show on the dot plot as just the lymphocyte population. So we're going to omit all the rest. I mean, basically, we only choose the red region to zoom in and look and analyze into. So basically, we can see the red, only the red population appear in this second dot plot. So now we can get the right population. So basically, in uh, in on a on a dot on a, on a um, uh, flow plot so you can see uh, an axis so whenever an axis the left side of the axis so usually we do not end as negative and the right side is positive so this is the simple version to um, interpret this so we're gonna get the CD3 plus population you can rename this and change the color as you wish uh, usually the y-axis you can retain as FSCA so then you can right click the plot at the end at empty area on the plot then you can uh, call out the statistics so basically um, you can see here uh, you can see that CD3 plus is 68.41% of the overall lymphocyte population so this is how you read this so basically you can say that in this sample among the lymphocyte 68.41 percent are cd3 plus lymphocyte so we're gonna make a new dot plot we open the same file so we're going to change the axis again so uh, this time we want to look at the uh, CD4 and CD8 proportion so CD8 is APC H7 we're going to put as X axis and for Y axis we're going to select the CD4 antibody so we select PE size 7 so now we only want to show the CD3 plus population uh, because uh, CD8 and CD4 uh, in the most terminal form will be CD3 plus CD4 plus lymphocyte or CD3 plus CD8 plus lymphocyte. So we're going to select the CD8 positive population. So gonna try to make it bigger so you can see better so try to get as close as possible if not you can just cross the axis no problem the software will pick up uh, everything uh, near the, the, the axis so we're going to rename this as CD8 plus CD8 plus population So we're gonna get the second popul subset population, just CD4 plus CD4 positive lymphocyte. So again, um, just to remind you guys that whenever you say here CD4, because it's actually we catered onto the second dot plot. So now you can see that the green will be appeared on the second dot plot as well among the purples and the blues uh, so this to show that you have gated the green and blue within the purple region of CD3 if 
that makes sense so we can call the statistic again and then you can see here that CD8 percentage of CD8 lymphocyte among the CD3 positive lymphocytes are 33.95 while CD4 positive uh, lymphocyte in this case is 45.74 percent so I believe you guys have learned about the function of CD4 and CD8 so I'm going to go into detail so CD4 is also denoted as CD4 helper T cell and CD8 as a CD8 cytotoxic T cells so we're going to do a further uh, another um, plot here so this is a second way to how to get your sample or your population of interest so rather than you create a new region you can use this quadrant function as well so you can put it as such so basically the uh, now for, for the dot plot number six um, I'm going to delete the, the previous plot so to to make it clear so you can get this this way and now you are denoting that so let's say uh, the the top left quadrant that one will be the region that you denote as a CD4 plus CD4 positive cells and the bottom right quadrant will be denoted as CD8 positive uh, cells you can also use density plot like this one and you can do similarly you can show quadrant So you can show the statistic again. So again, you just focus on the percentage. Uh, for now, you can ignore all the X mean, Y mean, Geo mean, uh, and the median. You just focus on the percentage. Yeah, so basically, you can see that um, the uh, right bottom, which is the CD8, is 37.99%. And the uh, top left, which is our CD4 po uh, positive population, is 47.31%. Uh, 